This is a water crew I've, I've did a Loch Hope up in Scotland. Just started off with a bit of raw sienna in the sky and then with a bit of ultramarine just sort of flick the brush down. Just to try and create the impression of, of the uh, sort of lighter areas. Going right up into the sky. Above the horizon line, I've got this big, thick cloud, mixture of uh, alizarin crimson and Payne's grey. And then looking close, you can see just little bits where I've dabbed out with the tissue. Not too much, but just little bits here and there, just to help create a bit of um, a bit of, uh, variation. The uh, most distant land, put in using exactly the same colour as the cloud. You can see how it pushes it right back, and then a bit of stronger colour here as we come closer to the foreground. The, the body of water, I've just left it as light as I possibly could and then deliberately put this area on as strong as I could for the maximum contrast. Just helps the, the, the water stand out better. And for this uh, sort of big land mass, I've tried to just vary the colour as much as possible to keep it interesting. Same again on this side. Starting to use the, uh, the, the paints trying to make them a bit more sticky now. I might start using them fresh again, I think. Might possibly even start using a slightly bigger palette as well. So I'm thinking if I get a, if I get a slightly bigger palette, or maybe even the, the same size, I don't know yet, but then just use the paint, just fresh out the tube, um, just to help create, I don't know, make it more look sort of like an oil paint or something, I don't know, I just need to try something different. And then we've got a little path here. Um, couldn't see it very well, so I've, I've sort of scraped out a few rocks and stones just to emphasise the, the root of the path. And then a little figure there walking off towards the, uh, the lock. This one's Loch Naver. I think I've, I don't know if I pronounced that right. The sky is just predominantly raw sienna and ultramarine. And I've used the same colours to put in the distant land. And then while it was still wet, just pulled down the reflections into the water just to get these soft edges before the, before the uh, paper went dry. Put in a really dark shoreline here just to contrast against the water. And then really tried to vary the foreground as much as possible. Um, even using big dollops of raw sienna. These trees there, a few trunks and things scraped out with the fingernail. Path's a little bit more defined on this one, so I didn't bother having to scrape out any rocks or stones or anything like that. Little figure walking out of the scene. Paintings as always on uh, eBay, on my eBay shop for sale. Thanks for, thanks for watching.